welcome back okay so today I sat down trying to figure out what I wanted to do and I was thinking about doing another fall look because you know it's that time of year I'm trying to get better with fall type looks you guys know I love bright colors but I said you know let me play with my Barbie stuff I initially bought my Barbie collection items you know just for display certain items I buy with no intention on using them. And this was one of those collections where I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna put that on the shelf with my little Barbie doll and last year's Barbie collection and I'm not gonna use it. But I'm gonna go ahead and play with it today, okay? So yeah, we're going to just kind of look at the stuff that I got and play with some of the items. I already did my complexion ahead of time, so hopefully I don't regret that. But basically what I bought is like the eyeshadow, the blush, the highlighter, lip products stuff like that so yeah i wanted to just go ahead and be ready to jump right in so let's just take a quick look now i did not get everything what i did not get i believe they had like a mascara and primer duo they had some lashes they have um with the nail polishes i only bought one what else do they have oh they have like a skincare set uh, that i did not get so there's a few items i didn't get i didn't get the kabuki brush but I think I might go ahead and get it because it's really, really cute. I'll go ahead and put a picture of that up so you can see what it looks like. It's so cute. I know I'm on a late train with this anyway, so you've already seen everything, but I want to go ahead and play with my stuff today, okay? So let's just take a look. I will go ahead and put like the pricing and stuff on the screen of the items that I show you, you know, and any information like that. But these are the items in my little, my little container here that I picked up. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what I got. I have already taken everything out of the outer packaging, just in case you're curious. Um, this is just how the actual items look. So this first item here is the eyeshadow palette. And this is called the Endless Possibilities 2 eyeshadow palette. So I'm assuming the first one is the one. I don't know because I didn't use that one. <laughs> but I do have some items from the first collection. But this is what the palette looks like. The packaging, so, so cute. I love it. So pretty. On the back, it has the name of the shades, you know, with the additional information for the palette. Okay, so when you open this palette up, there is a really, really nice mirror in here, very pretty. And this is what the palette looks like. Now, at first glance, of course, you think Barbie collection, oh, it's just gonna be like a bunch of cheesy pinks and stuff like that. No, this is actually a very fall appropriate palette. <laughs> So, yeah, when you look at it, it's kind of like, you know what? That is actually a fall palette. It's not anything cheesy. It's really beautiful, actually, for like an everyday type of palette. Beautiful shimmers and mattes in here, and you do have a little pop of blue. So, I really like that about this palette, that is, it is actually a palette that you can use, not just thinking it's like a kitty palette. It's a really pretty palette color story in here so that's what the palette looks like we'll do some swatches in a little bit now this is the blush palette same design a little bit smaller this is the size of the blush palette compared to the actual eyeshadow palette and as you can see it's a little bit darker in color a little bit smaller a little bit darker same thing on the back it does have the shade names for you to check out there's a mirror as well and this is what these blushes look like in here. So very, you know, warm, kind of autumn feeling. I see kind of like, you know, peachy, rustic tone to it. So I'm really, really feeling that. If you know anything about me, I love like the peachy, warm, kind of earthy tone blushes. I love all blushes, okay? But these tones are kind of like my favorite, so very, very pretty. I also picked up a highlighter. I don't know, was this the only highlighter? I think it was. The name of the highlighter is Confident Glow. Confident Glow. So that's what it looks like on the back. So pretty. I love this packaging. I think I like this packaging better than last year's. There's a mirror in this compact for the highlighter. And as you can see, gorgeous detailing in here. It has the imprint of the design from the packaging. Cute little Barbie doll in there. 
so so pretty i'm really curious as far as how that's gonna look on me if it's gonna be too light i also picked up this what is it it's the pure and barbie forever glow it's like a body a body shimmer or a body you know highlight it says signature illuminating scented body powder with an application puff so this is what the packaging looks like for this super duper cute i love it very very pretty it is just cardboard but it's still cute so when you open it up in the top it has a little barbie head in there <laughs> and then for the puff the puff as you can see it says pure times barbie very cute looks like this and so this is what the inside looks like of course when you open it up it has the protective seal what does it say never lose your sparkle <laughs> very cute so I will go ahead and open that up. I will be trying that out today as well. Just a little shimmy shimmy, see if we can see something. Now I also bought a few of the lip products, not all of them. I did pick up one of the glosses. This is what it looks like. So, so pretty. And which one did I get? This one is the Girl Gloss. So as you can see, there is a little gold button here. And when you push the button, if I can do it with my nails on, well, actually you hold the button and that releases the gloss. So you don't have to twist it. It just kind of like snaps and snaps out. And this is what the applicator looks like. So it's kind of like a teardrop shape. Very cute. Now I don't have this gloss on my lips right now. As you can see, it's pink. I have on one of my Pat McGrath, what is it? Uh, the lip shines, the, the vinyl lip shine or whatever. It's really, really pretty. I love them, they're super comfortable but I will take it off when we get to the lip portion. I did pick up two of the actual lipsticks. I think there are three. This is what the packaging looks like for the lipstick. So nice and it's like textured. You can feel the texture on there. And what I really like about these, uh, you can see the little Barbie head on there. I mean, they really, really went all out with the detail. What I like about these is you go ahead and you just press the tip and it pops out like that and so that's what the lipstick looks like when it pops out as you can see on there it says pure times Barbie you twist it up and you get your beautiful lipstick and even on the tip of the lipstick if you can see there is a tiny little Barbie head on there <laughs> so yeah once again great attention to detail very pretty so this is the red type shade which is CEO and then I also picked the shade Innovator. And so this is what Innovator looks like. It kind of looks like a mauve type shade. Super, super pretty. Now I also picked up the Lit Mist. So this is the setting spray, but it does have like, I don't know if you can see, it's, it is kind of foggy, but it does have a bit of like shimmer in there, a very small amount of shimmer. And as you can see, it has the little balls rolling around in there so that you can shake it up. And it has a cute little, you know, sprayer. So to spray it, you just turn it to the side and it opens it up and then you, you know, get your little mist on. It's so cute. I love this, it's adorable. Now I did get the brush set. This is the five piece brush set, but I did not get the Kabuki brush like I said in the beginning. This is a cute little container for the brush set. It has Barbie on there. It has the little design all around. On the top, of course, it has the Barbie head. So let me show you these brushes, you guys. Look at that, look how they look in here, so pretty. But the detail on these is crazy. Let me show you. So it is a five piece set. And this is the detailing on these brushes. Do you see the bow with the little rhinestones on it? It is so stinking cute. And then, you know, the really pretty pink handle. Absolutely gorgeous. Pure Times Barbie on there. So these are the brushes that you get in here. It looks like three eye brushes and then you know two complexion brushes or whatever for whatever you want to use them for blush bronzer highlight whatever so very very cute i'm not sure i'm probably not going to use these today because i don't want to use these 
I don't want anything to happen to them, you know, for me washing them and stuff like that. So, but I did want to show you these really pretty brushes. And then lastly, I picked up one of the nail polishes. There are three, I believe, one that's kind of like a ready tone, one that's like a gold glitter, and then this pretty pink one, which of course I got the pink one to match all of my stuff. And this one is called Icon. So this one is called Icon. Very, very pretty. I love this shade it's really cute I don't want to paint my nails though because it is fall so I'm be running around with pink nails <laughs> during the fall so let's go ahead and jump right in and just play around with some of this stuff of course I'm gonna do my eye look first then we'll just see if we like it together so I'm gonna prep my lids like always with some of my P Louise base and I do use the shade rumor 04 I believe it's so weird uh, whenever I do my face before I do my eyes because I always do my eyes first. So it's kind of like, you know, when you do your eyes first, you can kind of be a little sloppy, a little messy. You don't have to be as precise with the placement of, you know, your primer and stuff like that. But since my face is already done, I'm gonna have to be a little bit more careful today. But it shouldn't be that big of a deal since this palette is not super colorful. Okay, so now we got our lids prepped. Let's go ahead and see what's happening. I'll go ahead and insert some swatches right quick so you guys can look at that while I am trying to figure out what I wanna do. Hmm. I think, I'm thinking about going in with this shade. It's kinda like, you know, orangey tone shade. Going in with this and then maybe deepen it up here. So yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. These three shades here and then we will figure out what we wanna do with our lid. So I'm really curious to see just how pigmented this palette is. I think I'm gonna turn my lights down just a little bit because they're actually hurting my eyes. <laughs> they're so bright. Okay, that's a little better. So I'm just going in and applying this with like a medium sized blending brush. Okay, so that's very, very pretty. It's kind of like one of those one and done type of shades if you're someone who likes, you know, just kind of like a soft flush of color on your lid and it's blending out like a dream. Next, I'm going to go into that second shade that I was talking about here, this shade here. So I went into this, now I'm going into this. And I'm just going to use another medium sized blending brush just to kind of focus that in my crease, warm it up just a little bit more. I always have to make my color go up a little bit higher because you can see I have hooded eyes. So I don't actually work just in my crease. I always have to bring it up a little bit higher just so that you guys can still see it. Mm. Okay, very nice. Like I said, these shadows are blending out like a dream. Now I have to decide, do I wanna do a halo or do I wanna do a cut crease? Okay, so I think for now, I'm not going to deepen up the outer corner. I'm gonna do a cut crease. Like, I was thinking I was gonna go into this and deepen it up a bit, but I'm gonna hold off until after I put my shimmer on and see how I feel, because I am going to just cut my crease. But I'm gonna cut it with the shimmer. I'm not gonna put down any uh, cut crease canvas. So I'm gonna go into this shade right here. Oh my gosh, this color is so gorgeous, and see how that looks on my lid. And these shimmers, they do not pick them on pick up on the brush well at all. So I hate that I have nails on because I am going to have to go in with my finger, but I wanna put this on my lid. So it's gonna be a little bit messy, but this color is so gorgeous. I hope you guys can see that it's so pretty yeah these shimmers are definitely not meant to be used with a brush because you have to kind of dig in there and pick some up 
with the brush, but with the fingers, you can pick it up real nice and smooth. So just so you can see what the shadow looks like after me applying it with my finger and my brush, you can see how I've been digging in there and it's kind of like that putty type material or putty type formula. Okay, so now I do think I wanna deepen my outer corner just a little bit. So I'm gonna go into this shade here with a smaller, more detailed like crease brush and just tap some of that in the outer corner. Okay, so now I'm just dragging a little bit of that same dark shadow down to my lower lash line and just connecting it to my lid. And now I'm going in with a little bit of that first lighter kind of orangey brown shade that I used and just placing a little bit of that underneath that darker shade. Now I'm going to use a little bit of my Pure Down to Earth Liner. It's funny, this is their liner that I actually use for my brows. So today I'm actually going to use it as an eyeliner <laughs> for its intended purpose. Because I don't want to do black today. Okay, I think that brown eyeliner looks nice with this eye look. I'm going to throw on some lashes and then we'll go ahead and play in the blush and the highlighter. Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and put on some lashes, a little bit of liner and mascara. So this is what the eye look is looking like. And I must say, I really like it. It's very soft, very subtle, but I think it's still okay for fall. So let's go ahead and jump into this pretty blush palette. I'm thinking about playing with these two over here. Let me go ahead and swatch all six so you can see what the swatches look like if they show up on me. Okay, so this is the first three. So those are the first three shades. They all look very similar, except this one here, this uh, kind of like peachy one. I don't know if you can see that, the lights are kind of bright. But yeah, it's kind of like a peachy tone. And then these are the last three. I definitely feel like they were trying to, you know, make this blush palette work for all skin tones, light, medium, and dark. And I can see that actually working. So I am going to just kind of stay down here in my lane <laughs> for the darker skin girls down here. And I will go ahead and just kind of mix those two together. No, you know what? I'm just gonna use the dark one. I think that's all I need. I just use the dark one. And I'm going to use my Juvia's Place brush because since it's pointed, hopefully it'll help me get into this teeny tiny little, <laughs> little uh, pan easier yet. Ooh, yo, way too much. Your girl gotta start off, whoo. So yeah, be careful, cause you can pick up a lot. Oh, that's pretty. Can y'all see that? That's pretty. I think it looks nice with this eye look. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay, so yeah, I would say this blush, and I do kind of <laughs> put blush all over my face sometimes, you guys. It just depends on how I feel. And today, since we do a Barbie, may as well flush it up, right? But yeah, this blush is really pretty. I like it. Okay, so let's check out this cute little highlighter. So pretty. And it looks like there's two different colors in here, so I'm just gonna kind of mix them together. Oh, that's pretty. Ah, uh, y'all see that? Hello. A 
y'all i really want to leave this pat mcgrath lip shine on <laughs> because i like it with this eye look oh my gosh i might just swatch these lip products for y'all because i'm really feeling this pat mcgrath lip shine uh which one is this yeah it's the boudoir rose and it's so pretty look at what it looks like it's gorgeous it's like perfect for this little barbie look so i'm thinking i'm just going to swatch the barbie lip products for y'all and y'all can imagine what it looks like on my lips because i am not giving up pat right now okay so let's just swatch these let's go ahead and swatch this lip gloss i keep twisting it when all i have to do is push the button Okay, so let's do a quick swatch. It just looks like a regular lip, clear lip gloss with like gold shimmer in it, a little bit of gold flex. And this first lipstick is CEO, which is the red one, which I wouldn't be wearing today anyway, because it's too red. So let's just give it a little swatch, mess it up. <laughs> oh, that is really, really pretty really pretty nice what is this like a soft matte really gorgeous this actually would look okay with this eye look just because of the tones of the whole you know crease area so it actually would look okay with this and then lastly we have innovator The reason I don't really want to put this one on is because I always wear kind of like a purpley mauve toned lipstick or lip products so I just kind of want to chill on that today mm, uh -uh. I'm leaving on my Pat McGrath <laughs> so you guys can imagine what it looks like on me okay very very nice okay so next we have here this setting spray so so cute I'm scared to use this thing because you know with this puff I don't want it poofing so hard in my face so let me just test it out Okay, so it's not too bad, but I feel like I do need a little distance between me and the sprayer. <laughs> Very weird. Okay, so I just want to see if I have like little flecks of shimmer all over me or not. Yeah, no, I don't. I could see just like little hints, little hints of a glow, but yeah nothing major i really like it it does kind of make me feel like i have a little bit of a glow y'all see that i like it it's nice i don't know how well of a setting spray it is but it's very nice and it just has a very slight scent to it i don't even know what that smells like but very very faint okay so let's try out this little body shimmer i have a little little bit of body showing so let's see what's happening okay so i just pulled the little covering off and they really went all out with the little barbie detailing look at that it has a little barbie head in there <laughs> so i'm going to shake this up just a little bit i guess so i can get some of this powder outside of it <clears throat> it's very fine just a little bit so this is what it looks like it's really pretty and it is scented I smell it so I have a feeling I'm about to put on way too much of this but at least you guys will get to see it <laughs> am I supposed to puff or am I supposed to wipe I'll just puff I guess for now mm. can y'all see that it's like the worst angle ever let me raise y'all up. Okay, so this might be a better angle. I've never used anything like this before, you guys, so I don't know. Woo. Yeah, <laughs> it's like covering up my tattoo. Like, what? see that yeah I guess this side is a little yeah there we go so it has a little bit of a golden shimmer to it as opposed to this one yeah yeah you can see it I mean I guess it's cute 
It's very glittery though. Definitely very glittery. Let's see. Yeah. You can see. I don't even know if you guys can see the glitter. But I'm trying to get in the light <laughs> so you can see it. But that's what that body shimmer looks like. Completely unnecessary. <laughs> but, you know, if you like that type of thing, that's what it looks like on me. Mm -mm. So that's it, you guys. Me trying out everything that I got from the Barbie Impure Times 2 collection. I have to say, I really like everything. I really do. There was nothing that I used that I can say I did not like. You know, with the eyeshadows, like I told you, the shimmers. Well, the one that I used kind of has like that putty type situation going on. So it is what it is. I'm kind of getting used to that now, even though it's not my favorite formula. I'm kind of learning how to deal with it, but very cute palette. Very nice everyday, kind of like, you know, soft and subtle type situation. I didn't use that blue. I was trying to keep it simple today. But yeah, so I like everything. You guys let me know what you think about the little body glow stuff. If you can even see it, I don't know. But everything else, I really feel like just a nice healthy glow is going on with my face with this little shimmer spray i actually really like it the highlighter the blush everything just came together nicely sorry that i didn't put the lip products on my lips but <laughs> pat one today okay so yeah that's it you guys hopefully you had fun playing in this pure and barbie collection with me leave me a comment down below let me know what you think did you get any other barbie stuff are you thinking about it now that you've seen me play with it? Because it is still available on the Pure website. I think I'm going to go ahead and grab that Kabuki brush because it's really cute. So let your girl know. Don't forget to hit that like and I'll see you on my next video. Toodles!